doubt him. It's very good. How people react when they doubt? When they doubt, because, yeah, because over here is happening two things. Like, they acting like children. I didn't get that toy. Mm -hmm. I will be, I will throw in the tantrum. tantrum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they will do everything. Even they accuse you. They mm -hmm. will accuse everybody. They will not accuse only themselves. Typically, it's like Shakespeare said, it, me thinks thou protest too much. When another person is accusing you, it's typically coming from their inner self of what they did. That's right. So if somebody says you're cheating on me, it chances are they're cheating on you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. If they have a doubt about something, it typically the words they speak are they're about themselves. In their mind. But, about themselves or their own insecurity or their own yeah. doubt. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to get you to confess so that they can convince themselves that they were right. They're trying to overcome their doubt with your confession. Yeah, if you would listen very carefully, you somebody, listen. you would understand it's only about themselves. Only. Even if they will say, I'm talking about somebody else, but they are saying words about themselves. So if, that's why when all, we always say, listen to person. Don't listen, talk. Listen. listen. If you will listen to somebody what you're saying, you would have all answers about that person okay. and no doubts. Yeah. Well, yeah. And you don't need any media. If you listen, you get the information upon which to make decisions. That's right. If you're listening to yourself, you're just going to be spinning around in that doubt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a very good point. I agree with you. And uh, actually, it came up to me. Um, when you're going through a lot in life, mm -hmm. when you have like certain major experience like grief or losing something or relationship or things, material things, or yourself, mm -hmm. for example, career or something, like major disaster in your life, I don't know what happened to people, something opens up to them. What do you mean by that? What do you mean something opens up to them? Um, then you look uh, and see people and world in different view. It's like you wake up. You know, in order Some to kind of, sleep. you need to yeah, have, that's sleep. right, you have to have a stress. You know, like you are not break this until you just stress open up. Makes, stress makes everything grow. That's right. Okay. Like a too problems, much, yeah. Too much stress, however, will kill something. For example, I would say long period of time, not too much. Long period of time, because we are well, okay. You can, you can have a very sudden stress, again, going back to fighting. Somebody can hit you and you're not knocked out. But if they hit you hard enough, hard enough stress, you go unconscious because the body can't handle it. So it can occur in an instant, a traffic accident. Things can occur in an instant. Yeah. But the, the number one thing is survive. And people handle their survival in different methods. There are all sorts of people who have had all sorts of tragedies, whether it's a hurricane, a flood, a tornado, a traffic accident, a sudden death of a loved one. Uh, these, this is just part of life. It's how you handle it as to whether or not you survive and the quality of your life after that. For example, in, in my mind, and like I just lost my mother, and when other people lose loved ones, you can grieve. I mean, grief is a normal thing in life. But if you get stuck in it, yeah. then you end up possibly homeless on, uh, on the street because you don't move anymore. Life yeah, you think only about you, that, that's right. But then all of a sudden you're the static that life keeps happening to you as opposed to a creative person makes things happen to life. So what do you think about bombs who are on the streets? What kind of choice they made? Bombs? Like explosions? Yeah. No, no, no. I mean uh, people. Bombs on, the bombs on the street, yeah. Like people. Well, homeless, say, homeless yeah, people. Said, uh, Robin Williams, who um, once did a, a um, little skit about a, a homeless man. You never know what caused that man to tilt. Do you think it's their choice? He's talking, and since you never saw the progression of what really happened, if you saw what happened to the person, the thing that he's talking about mm -hmm. actually makes sense. Mm 
Mm -hmm. But you as an outside observer think it's making no sense because you have nothing to do with its past life. But what do I think about bums? I think they hit a form of stress in their life that they couldn't overcome. They could not outcreate the situation, so they succumbed to it. They became a victim. Again, going back to things that I do, weight lift. If you lift the bar that's too heavy, something happens that's too overpowering to you, that bar is going to come down on your chest or choke you, and you're going to be a mess. If you train yourself up, you can carry the weight. But some people, they just can't for whatever life. And it could be what happened, what they learned as a child, too, and what was taught to them by their parents. A lot of this thing... Oh, yeah. It's, well, it's all from childhood. A, a contagion of aberration. It's just passed on from family member to family member. And so sometimes people don't have a choice. It's... Uh, there are ways out of it, but I'm not necessarily going to get into all of that. But they have to overcome that somehow. And then the thing that happens is when the so-called these bums don't fit in, society nowadays drugs them. They'll give them antipsychotics and they'll mix up the drugs, which in my mind also, well, my mom didn't have antipsychotics, but a lot of drugs shut down their system. Okay. It's I true. Modern medicine just killed her, to be honest with you. Uh, but that's my opinion. But you see these antipsychotics, and it's the same thing. You know, we did, they, with Robin Williams, I mentioned, they did a, 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 an autopsy on him and said there's no drugs in his body. Bullshit. They, what, the, what they meant to say and didn't say, because of the powerful drug agencies, there was no cocaine, there's no cocaine. Yeah, but it was, was no something marijuana. else. There's no illegal drugs in there. But was he filled with antipsychotic drugs when you read the label saying mm -hmm. possible cause is suicide? Yeah. That's what's in a lot of these bums today because that's yeah. society's way of handling them. Let's medicate them. Let's literally shut down their mind. And so you see them on the street babbling and they're dysfunctional. They're primarily dysfunctional at that stage because they're drugged on antipsychotic or psychiatric drugs. They're not given holistic medicines. They're not given a cup of tea. They're not given a safe place. But one day they choose to go. So this is, means it no, was one point. They don't, choose, they don't know what they're doing. Why? What? Who doesn't let them educate themselves? Some people take a wrong turn down a street. Like I'll go through downtown LA. You make one turn in a block and you're in Skid Row. Oh, you make they... another turn in a block and you're in Millionaire's Row. So sometimes in life it's like that. It's not like they let it happen. They just simply took the wrong turn. They went, they went to the wrong people for help, for help rather. And those people they went to for help, not knowing it really worked. But don't you think it's in your power to keep a score? If you see, if you are turning and not, you can see around. Uh oh, it's not that my way. So I better go back. You don't. You, you see. Don't, you don't always. You have to see the score. Not, you have to see the score, but you're not always educated. That's what we talked about with relationships. Some people learn that drama is okay because their parents always argued. That's right. It's, it's like normal it's thing. Game. And so. It's it, it, in my mind. It's it, it's almost like a betrayal of love. If you really loved your father, but he beats you all the time, you're going to go out there and and you got this mindset. Well, I should be loving him, but he's beating me. So now you're, to get loved, you're going to get somebody that's beating you. That's right. Sooner or later, you got to say to yourself, Well, I love my father. I just didn't like the beatings. <laughs> it's like <laughs> okay, so I'm not going to go near anybody that beats me because they don't I, love me. I like being loved. But I don't like being beaten, so I'm going to find somebody that, to love that doesn't beat me. End of story. Then it told me something but missing. But they got to make that rational decision. No, nothing's missing because the beatings aren't missing, and they go, "Oh, we made a rational decision. I don't like to be beat." Yeah, it's all it's like, yeah, it's interesting. Like we grew up. We grew up. We were spanked. Okay. Nowadays, you spank a child, then you're going to get the child service for child abuse, they might take the child away and give them psychiatric Do drugs. I think it's normal? Do I think it's normal? Uh, not a beating, a little bit of spanking here and there. Mm -hmm. yeah, because it, it's it's no different, you know, you get on a horse and you got to whip it once, but you don't have to beat it to death. That's you know, right. You're going to take your dog for a walk and it's going to cross the street, you're going to tug on its collar, but you don't have to beat it to death. Your kid's going to, your kid's going to, you know, touch a hot stove or walk across the street, you're going to pull its arm quickly to save its life, but you don't have to beat it to death. But the thing that I said is that, you know, I always knew, and 
in my particular case, that if I got a spanking, I deserved it. <laughs> it wasn't That's that, right. It so you accomplished <laughs> I understood <laughs> that I was pushing the limits on somebody else's rules. And you do the same thing. In life, it can be called a speeding ticket. You see what we kind of figured out from actually, it is very simple. You can't you take just, this shit too seriously. Yes. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. You just have to educate yourself. You have to know that without progression, mm -hmm. you will not have a prosperity. And if you don't educate yourself, you might take a wrong way in your life. This yeah. is, means you will arrive somewhere else where you don't want to be. But that comes to the, the education. With that education, then when we talked about, that's where you make your judgment. It's called a decision. I've got this fact and i got this fact. But in order which to make a judgment... Is, which one is more pro-survival? You don't have to be poisoned with no. drugs. But you, no. And with different the opinions. Minute you're the minute you're poisoned with drugs, you no longer are really making a rational decision. It's you with the drug. The drug covers up your the decisions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, we came, if you want to believe in evolution, we came from a caveman brain to be building skyscrapers and airplanes. Most of those people were not on drugs. And most of the musicians that were on drugs and they created great music even like the Rolling Stones, they'll tell you, I had a damn good time, but my music is better now. I can at least hear it. <laughs> so when you get people that are off on drugs, they're going to they're gonna justify and say it's the greatest damn thing. But I don't think anybody in an opium den ever created much. No, opium not. But what well, about I, ayahuasca? Everybody's going for ayahuasca, ayahuasca? to drink ayahuasca, yes. Everybody's going, oh, everybody's uh, preaching about that and everybody go like crazy in Peru and actually you can drink in uh, whiskey LA. And alcohol, whiskey and alcohol will numb the mind, that's all it does. No, it's not whiskey, it's not alcohol, it's a powerful uh, herb okay. drink. It opens up your mind. Well, that's what they say, it opens well, up your mind until it closes down with a headache. <laughs> it's true from one side if you if you do something in the day after or moments after you don't quite feel right that's your body telling you you just took a poison that's right that's right you know, I mean the, the LSD from what on my understanding it was actually developed by psychiatrists and CIA to make people crazy during questioning <laughs> so they never thought well if the guy is crazy when he's answering the damn question I'm gonna get a fucking crazy answer why they wouldn't do this both then? Both. Because it, <laughs> one will be questioner, <laughs> one will answer it. And it's the same thing with, with the, uh, they're going to torture you to get a right answer. And That's right. That after a while, people give you any damn answer. That's you right, well, you want. They just want the torture to stop. Right. But it doesn't make it a sane answer. And then, they, then the CIA goes off into all sorts of directions at it. So sometimes they're telling the truth, and sometimes they're just making stuff up to just stop the pain. That's but right. This drug that you're talking about, any drug that you don't feel better the next day or moments after, your body's telling you something. Yes. It's, it's that simple. It's not accepting it for whatever reason. If the body starts to decay, like people on meth or cocaine or speedballs, and their teeth start falling out, it's a hit. That's right. It's a hit. So many of that, but by yeah. the way. Because the, the, in general, drugs will do that. That's why we have so many dentists, and that's why we have most expensive service for that. For every full and no, two without. I've been very fortunate. Yes, you have uh, your nice, no, real no, teeth. No, no Look at that. No, no, Wonderful. No, no, no braces either. No wonder you are a healthy guy. Yeah. By the way, when are you going to marry? It? When are you going to marry? It? When are again. Gonna marry again? Not, not. We are. When are you going to marry I again? Said, well, when am I going to marry yes. again? You're putting in the we. What's, what's on your mind? <laughs> I'm considering. <laughs> you see, the first you one know how to listen, <laughs> people. You know, that's right. It's like my friend said, don't worry about making your second million. You can't make your second till you make your first. That's right. You worry <laughs> you about second. You can't your second husband till you get rid of the first one. Uh, yes. Look at that. Um, when, when it comes along, it comes along. I'm not looking. If it happens. Women, he's a great guy. I would love to. Just don't give up the phone. <laughs> I would love to. I don't have names in my phone. <laughs> okay. 
he has a potential and I have to tell you something he will be in the very interesting TV show a reality show so no, 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 look no. for it I will I not tell things after the occurrence. yeah I will not tell which one but be open okay thank you Mark I All love right, to pleasure, talk man. to you always you can continue talking unless you're kicking me out you're kicking me out oh we always talk with you for like whole night when we see each other it is minimal we see each other like for three hours and what do we do we just talk no drugs, no drugs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll see you next time.